the complete installation guide for Logistics Super Wedge, the one-way solution for securing the heaviest of loads. After loading the cargo, determine the best location for installation. Keep in mind that multiple sets of Super Wedge may be needed to safely secure your cargo. Choose an area that will place the Super Wedge at the same height and position, assuring the beam will be installed parallel to the floor. The beam needs to be against the freight, which will prevent the cargo from starting to shift. The entire application area must be clean and dry to ensure proper installation. Use a dry cloth and, if needed, a scraper and rubbing alcohol to remove loose dirt, dust, condensation or frost from the application area. Remove the tape backing from one super wedge and place it in the desired application area on the wall. After removing the tape backing from the second super wedge, place it on the opposite wall in the same height and position as the first. Important: Once the super wedge are installed, they cannot be repositioned. A single 4x4 is recommended with super wedge. However, two 2x4s that are the same length and nailed or screwed together can be used as a replacement for the 4x4. It is not recommended to use a single 2x4 with the super wedge. Measure the inside width of the trailer at the application area. For proper fit and pressure, the wood beam needs to be on average 5 inches less than the inside width. For flexible areas, start with a beam 4.5 inches less than the inside width. For rigid areas or installation near the doors, start with a beam 5.5 inches less than the inside width. A longer beam creates more outward pressure to maximize performance. Place one end of the 4x4 or two 2x4s oriented horizontally into the pocket of the first super wedge and rest the opposite end of the beam at the top of the ramp on the second super wedge. Force the beam down the ramp of the second super wedge until it is under the retention clips and locked into place. If this is too difficult, trim one eighth of an inch off the end of the beam and reattempt installation. Proper installation will result in trailer walls expanding outwards slightly. Maximum outward pressure equals maximum performance.